it's a big thing for me. I finally found something I want to do, and if I don't get through it, it'll, it'll cut me deep. A part-time pizza maker, part-time cleaner, Jared's convinced cooking is his calling. He's come 1,500 kilometres to be here, but can he go on to Sydney? Jared, how are you? Yeah, good. So here you've had a long drive, is that right? Where are you from? Definitely. Mission Beach. Mission oh, Beach. Oh, wow. What are you going to cook for us? Um, strawberry and lime, sweet chilli coral trout. Strawberry lime? Yep, sweet chilli coral okay. trout. Okay. Oh, let's go. You've got to convince me All on right. this one. Spe spear caught. Spear caught. So, spear caught. so you, you caught this yourself? You didn't buy it from Fishmonger? Yep. Sure did. So where did this recipe come from? The back of my forehead, basically. <laughs> like, something simple. It's coral trout. Yeah. It sells itself. Yeah. You don't have to do much to coral trout. So, so, so t tell me, tell me about your family situation. You got, you got, you got kids, wife. My wife and a son. My wife wasn't given long to live, and she sort of. It's it be hard for me to say. Sorry. No, that's all right. Did she have really a terminal sick. illness? Did you say? Well, according to modern day science, she did. Yeah. They did everything they could for her, and still, still. What, what was it? Was it a um, cancer? And I proposed to her, took her away, and we came back three months later. On our wedding day, she told me the doctor had rang her up the day before, said, "You've got the all clear. We can't find anything wrong. Only reason we can um, give you for that happening is that you're happy. It's the first time in life, so keep being happy." She should stay healthy. Alrighty. You alright? Yeah, I'm I'm nervous depending on this how it goes, it depends on the rest how the rest of my life goes. So you're saying like is is this like the turning point to your life? Definitely. I've I've been a a, a labourer my whole life. I've worked for other people at things I don't love doing and I love doing this and if I happen to go to Sydney then it's gonna give me the confidence either way I feel really good about myself. Everyone deserves to feel good about themselves you know. That's good. Okay. Obviously, you've driven down from Buddy, you know, Mission Beach. That's a big commitment, you know? Yeah. I just don't know. What's interesting about the dish is you haven't boiled the rice up. The strawberries are, are a little bit weird, but, but I think you've actually got a bit of a palate. Obviously, your knife skills are good, which is another big plus. It's a yes from me. Awesome. You know, my, my head chef for the press club, he, he came to me, you know, uh, five and a half years ago and he couldn't peel a tomato. Um, but I gave him a chance. Um, you know, six months ago, he was awarded Young Chef of the Year. I can teach you how to cook a piece of fish. Um, if you're dedicated um, and you're going to be disciplined and, you know, head down, bum up, um, uh, oh, it's a yes from me. OK. Master Chef's greatest long shot, <laughs> Jared. You go awesome. to, to Sydney, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Well done. Let's hope, Jeez, let's hope you can uh, pull the stops out, mate. Yeah. Do, 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 do it round and, and do it up in front of you. It's pretty good on you. Hey, Sharon. Looking forward Thanks, to seeing guys. you in Sydney. You will. I'll be there. He's either going to go one way or the other. Yeah. And let's hope that this chance that we're giving him yeah. is going to work for him. Yeah. yeah. I'm here to become Australia's first master chef. And what you see is what you get. I didn't have enough money to book my ticket to come down and join MasterChef. So I had did a little baking drive and sold 40 cakes to raise enough money. I've made it. Look where I am. Cakes got Katie to Brisbane. She's hoping her chicken salad will get her to Sydney. We'll see how we go. Katie! Room service! 
this. Were you doing a little dance for us yes, over there? Yes, I was doing a little dance. Come on, do us a little dance here. Get That's down it. today. <laughs> right. Let's see. Now, get cooking. So, so where, where, have you, where have you come? You, where from have you come? Cairns. You've come from Cairns down to Brisbane. Yes. Actually, I didn't have enough money, so I had a little bake-off. How much did you raise in the bake-off? Um, $200. Wow. Fantastic. That's yeah, great. Yeah, it went really well. So today we've got penne, Caesar regatta, and a coconut cake. So what's in there? You've um, got lots of shredded cos lettuce. Yes, it is. And then you've got penne pasta, you've got chicken, is that right? Or is yes, that bacon? That's correct. Chicken, no, there bacon, is chicken and bacon anchovies. today. Do you like my mayonnaise? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> actually, it actually reminds me of the Opera House. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing your personality down from Cairns. Thank you. It always makes food taste much better when it's served by someone who actually gives something of themselves. Thank you. I feel the pressure! But that's that's okay. mean, isn't it? Do you want the verdict? Sure. I'll be honest with you, the salad doesn't appeal to my taste at all. Um, I mean, there's too much lettuce, cold pasta, it's overcooked, really strong mustard flavour, and it doesn't work so good. So, thanks very much, but no. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks very much, but it's a no for me. Thank you. Um, look, I really like, I really like that, that coconut cake. Go back, and, go back and start yourself a baking business, because you've obviously got great touch with baking, and, and that, that if you can sell 200 bucks worth of cakes to get down here, you should be able to keep, keep that thank going as business. It's very admirable. But it's thanks fantastic stuff, much. and thank you so much thank for coming you. in. They loved the coconut cake. They said I should open a baking business, but that's OK. Katie's not the last big personality the judges would meet. See you, guys. I would love to open a cupcake shop called yep. Princess Patty Cakes. Ah, oh, it's me blue swimmer look for the day. <laughs> <laughs> that's bloody brilliant. Is that a mullet? <laughs> oh. But it takes more than personality to cut it in the MasterChef kitchen. Um, do you actually cook that bacon? Looks good, doesn't it? It's pretty raw, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a bit that I can eat. Can you yeah. smell that sort of fishy, ammonia smell? Yeah. I think the clams are old. Look, it's a no from me. Absolutely no. And ditto, sorry. Bugger. Yeah. <laughs> you made them laugh. Made them. I they like your mullet. They like your mullet. My name's Larissa Balasinovich. Uh, I'm from Tweed Heads. I'm here because I want this experience to launch me into the uh, chefing industry and I want to own three restaurants as soon as possible. They're grand plans for a 22-year-old, but Larissa's gambling her dreams on a simple dessert. I'm making a, a mango, white peach and passion fruit uh, crumble with a thin layer of custard in the middle. It's my favourite dessert at the moment, so I thought I'd make it for them. It's going to be fantastic. Look out, judges, here I come. Hi. Hi, Larissa, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Come, come into the MasterChef kitchen. What, what are you cooking? I have cooked a mango, white peach and passion fruit crumble. Right. With oh. a custard centre and nice crumbly on top with uh, slivered almonds. So do you want to be a pastry chef? Is that your thing? I want to cook everything. I want to make cookbooks. I want to own three restaurants. I just feel like I'm wasting away, like I could be so much more and do so much more with myself and my talent. All right, we're going to taste. All righty. Nice. It's I... not, and it's not going to be too sweet? No, no, it's it actually... It sounds pretty sweet, yeah. It's a very simple dish to do this with. I hope it tastes, it, it better taste amazing. So what were these bits again? Oh, it's difficult to hear. This was a scorched almond and cinnamon dust. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You know, an amazing food experience is one of the most amazing things in life, and that is just beautiful. Thank you. Your ambitions are great, they're massive, and that's yeah. great. Why not follow those dreams? Um, you go get them. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's a yes from Thank me. You. Well Thank done. you so much. Look, it's a lovely crumble. It's a very, very simple dessert, and I'd say it's a very hard dessert to really show what you can do. Okay. So it's a no for me. Okay, all right. Thank you anyway. You, you, you get very emotional talking about food, don't you? Yeah, yeah, just because, it, like I said, it's the greatest love in my life, and if I could follow a career with this, it would just be the ultimate. I'm sorry to say, but I'm not seeing that real, that real kind of burning, burning, yeah, I have to have to do it. Yeah. You know, uh, there's nothing else in the world. Everything else is, it's all about that. It already is a, a, an inferno in my heart, and I'm sad that you can't see that, but I, I love it to bits, and if you give me the chance, I can show you that further. I promise. I promise. I think it's going to be very hard, but that's such a fantastic dish. And, uh, you know, even if you hadn't shown what you've just shown us there, you're an absolute 100%. Oh, thank me. you so much. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you led me on, too. <laughs> yeah, oh did we do gosh. that a bit round here? Thank you so much. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was the one that said no. <laughs> oh, I still love you anyway. <laughs> Ten bucks, who wants some?